Hello everyone, this is Minoxen coming to you with another high-definition commentary of Heroes of New Earth. Uh, this is going to be a continuation of a series of scrims that uh, happened upon there as I was just looking through replays and happened to find it, so uh, lucky me. Also, thanks to the uh, person on GameReplays.org who showed me the remaining uh, two games in that uh, series there as well. I appreciate that. I was looking uh, not so forward to having to try and hunt those down, but he did find them for me. So thank you very much. I'm sorry I didn't have your name written down. I'm trying to get a game squeezed in here in between my meeting. But uh, let's go ahead and go over the bands here before they disappear quickly. We've got Glacius, Thunderbringer, Dr. Repulsor, Balfagor, Voodoo Jester, and Devourer. Uh, so, um, kind of interesting... Uh, of course, Balfagor has been pretty ban-worthy uh, here as of late. Uh, they did take out Thunderbringer, so are they going to be running a tri-lane on either of these teams? Maybe. Doesn't look like it, really. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not leaning towards it, but uh, we'll just have to see what they go. And speaking of the teams, we are um, SK uh, Gaming versus uh, Evil Geniuses, which was just until recently formerly Clan Loaded. Uh, Evil Geniuses acquired the loaded uh, loaded gaming um, tag there, so and they managed to keep all these guys on board. And of course, if you are not familiar with it, Xfin's General D there is of course B Kid uh, playing on that Engineer this game. It looks like, but Engineer of course not being one that was actually banned, as he's pretty typically um, banned in almost all competitive play. But uh, he got picked up here, uh, so we're gonna have to see how that pans out. As uh, this is pre uh, the most recent patch, so Blood Chalice is OP, as I've said in my last video. Um, Balfagor is still really strong, that's probably why he went ahead and got uh, banned there. But uh, now we're looking at, let's go ahead and go over the teams here before I get too far behind. Hopefully, may maybe there will be a little pause. But we've got SK's Cardinal playing on this Pebbles. Uh, Tralfamador rocking out on the Madman. Uh, B Diz is going to be playing on Witch Slayer. Angry Testy, wow, Angry Testy actually going to be playing Nymphora, so a little bit of a different role for Angry Testy than what I'm typically used to seeing him as. Usually he's that, you know, hero that has the potential to dominate in the game, you know, has the, the carry potential and all that, but, you know, hey, maybe he, uh, I mean, his, he's got some really great APMs just like Chu does, so uh, a very skilled player there, looking forward to see how he pulls off that Nymphora, and we've got Fogged on uh, Flint Beastwood here, so... Looking at their lineup, they've got a couple of really nice hard carries. They've got a good early game potential in this Pebbles, who's probably going to be going middle, I would guess. And, uh, whoa, are we going to go ahead and see the tri-lane? I guess they're going to send Mad Men up here by himself and going to go with maybe a tri-lane here. Maybe they're going to send Witch Slayer up to join him after this initial uh, rune jump. Uh, we got Keeper of the Force throwing out the early... Well, it looked like he was throwing out an eye, but I don't see any vision from it. Okay, maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Oh, wow, yeah, he cast it all the way over here. That's what I'm doing wrong. So, yeah, um, as far as teams go, looking at... Oh, a pause, that might help. Uh, we've got Chu here on Keeper of the Forest, and he's going to be in a little bit of trouble. Oh, <laughs> Flint Beastwood was trying to get the uh, <laughs> the, uh, the Invis rune uh, taken, but unfortunately Keeper's going to grab that. But we've got Keeper of the Forest here being played with uh, by Chu. <laughs> Uh, Dodo going to be on Pharaoh. General D, or B-Kid, going to be picking up the Engineer. Yoda on Plague Rider. Oh, and we've got a little bit of a, a myth here going on. We've got the uh, stun coming out, the Nymph, Nymph Zeal uh, landing onto Pharaoh there. A little bit of exchange. Nothing really going to come of it, as apparently they are running a tri-lane down here bottom as well. So, not exactly what I was imagining, since, you know, I guess... I don't know, I just was not imagining... Well, definitely wasn't imagining Keeper middle, but I suppose that works out as he, you know, has such a, a high early damage that he's going to be a pretty decent middle. And just the general, you know, amount of melee heroes that you see here on the uh, Hellborn side is a little bit off-putting to me. Uh, you've got Pharaoh, uh, Keeper, and Tundra. Oh, and also Famous uh, playing on that Tundra. I don't know if I said that or not, but... Not necessarily liking the, the Hellborn team over the Legion team. We're just going to have to see how it pans out here. Early Harass coming out. They're trying to uh, do some damage to this Nymphora, but a nice save there from uh, Purple or B Diz there on uh, Witch Slayer. So uh, nicely done there as we've got <laughs> Battle of the Titans uh, in the middle here as they're just duking it out 
We've got uh, SK's Cardinal going up against Chu, the the Madman Chu. Even though he's not on Madman, I, I like to like to say he's a Madman. When the real Madman's up here at about half health, apparently, as uh, his job up here is not going so well, it doesn't look like. And, yeah, he's going to be ferrying that bottle back and forth so he can keep up the harass. And, ooh, bottom, we got, uh, oh, they just spotted him pulling. And that Ward of Sight was not placed quite early enough to go ahead and prevent the creep pull. But now, since there is a Ward of Sight there, they're not going to be able to pull off anymore. So that will be a nice move for this uh, Hellborn side to go ahead and stop the pulls so that we can they can keep the creep wave forward here so they can manage to get the denies and keep the harass going without the Legion being able to sit in these woods and sit back here by their tower uh, all nice and cozy. And another ward being placed here by Dodo uh, to keep vision of the river and this rune here and, you know, this little area back here where they can do some jumping. And Beta is also throwing out a ward of sight there in addition to the one here to keep an eye on the river. And there's no creep pulling stopping going on up top, but I don't really know that they're going to need it since it's just one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, kind of almost would be a little bit of waste, and you definitely don't want Madman having to buy a ward this early since uh, his gold could be spent better on other things, I would say. So I think we're going to be looking for it. <laughs> Look at these guys. They're just duking it out like a couple of, couple of members of Fight Club. Oh, man. I, I am too easily amused, apparently. As... Bam! Yep. Oh, I didn't even get the deny on that. Or wait, wait that was a kill. That would have been a kill if he'd have killed it. Kill the kill the kill the kill. But we are now seeing, as they are unable to pull anymore, they are being forced to come forward here and play uh, probably a lot further forward than what they would like. Witch Slayer actually going to take a couple of shots from the tower and drop his HP by about 100 there. So, not, not too fortunate for him. But, uh, looks like in the early first part of this round, uh, looks like Keeper of the Forest is keeping his stamina up, gonna be able to outduke this, uh, Pebbles, as Pebbles is sitting about half health, but he doesn't really have to worry too much about any burst damage or anything coming from this Keeper of the Forest, and even when Keeper hits level 6, he's probably not gonna be able to do too much to this Pebbles, I mean, his root will be pretty, pretty nasty, but he's really gonna need someone else to dish out the DPS to, to manage to make anything of it. Whereas if I was any place I should be watching, it's probably going to be down here. But we're still four minutes into this game, and it is zero to zero. I'm trying to keep an eye on the little life bars over to the side there, so I don't miss out on any action. As I did happen to miss out on a couple of occasions uh, this last time on the the other game that I cast from this series. Oh, barrel roll coming out, taking out the little co earl. I think Tundra might be a little upset about that. He's going to have to wait seven seconds for his um, little winter buddy to be coming back. But he still has, uh, you know, Shiver to keep him company. And that's... What on earth is that little image of Shiver? That's a weird-looking little winter bird. Let's look at you. Looks like one of those bobble birds that you have on your dash of your car or something. But... <laughs> oh, man, Minoxen. I am really not looking forward to that meeting I've gotten about an hour or so. I decided I was going to try and get this game cast because I think that you all just, you know, I love you guys and I think you deserve a cast um, to be up here. It's not going to be up tonight. It'll probably be up Tuesday, I'm guessing, Tuesday, which if you're watching it, it's probably going to be Tuesday. So yeah, it's going to be it's going to be up when it's up, <laughs> as it were. So Pebbles getting the regen rune here. Actually, actually let's me, let me go ahead and try and stay on track here and keep track of what I should be since I am casting this game after all. On top, we've got uh, Madman getting 18 and 3 versus this Tundra, who is 29 and 6. So it looks like uh, Tundra is winning the lane pretty handily. And uh, I just said that, but he's in trouble now, as he's gonna be getting stalked and ran down. No, what is he doing? Oh, is he out of mana? Oh, he's out of mana. Lame. Oh, well, he had a blood chalice just then. Dang it. Uh, Madman could have taken back his lane, but no, he just had to all be in. You know what? I need. I need to go over here and heal. So, Madman failing to man up, as he might have been able to have gotten the kill onto Tundra. And Tundra actually going to be pulling now, so... Hey, more power to him as, uh... Oh, Trophimador. <laughs> uh, but... Oh, wait, we've got a taunt going off here. We've got a taunt onto Keeper of the Force from Pebbles. And <laughs> look at Pebbles. Just blocking him here. And now... <laughs> What is Keeper even bothering to do? He's got a haste. It's not like he's gonna, you know, 
be doing too terribly much. As he's pretty much just sitting up here trying to throw up some... Has he got another... No, he doesn't have another ward coming up for a long time. He's got 100 seconds that are down on it already, but, you know, hey, that's not going to be up anytime soon. So, okay, back on track. Let's get back on track here, guys. We have Tundra winning the top lane. It looked like Pebbles was winning the middle as he was, you know, keeping that uh, Keeper of the Forest back. But we're 27 and 7 versus 30 and 10. So really, I mean, you know, you got Chew, or you got, not Chew, I'm so used to seeing Chew on Pebbles. Uh, Cardinal uh, winning the middle lane just barely. So Keeper of the Forest, uh, Chew there, managing to keep, uh, keep his own or keep, yeah, whatever you would, I can't think of anything uh, clever to say. As Pharaoh's going to go down here after eating the Nymph for a zeal and uh, taking the... Graves, <laughs> uh, graveyard from uh, Witch Slayer. I'm just getting all kinds of tongue-tied as I keep glancing over to the clock, just wondering what time it is. I'm like, oh no. But uh, Madman actually pulling off pretty good, uh, pretty good amount of damage here onto Tundra, keeping him down and not letting him get too much domination up here. But uh, yeah, where was I? Oh, Keeper of the Forest kind of survived just barely. And Pebbles, oh, he's waiting on that toss. Oh, if only he had just a little bit more mana. 20 more mana, and he would have had... He would have had him. As apparently, uh, Fogged is, um... Calling Chew a no noobsy. Because, uh, he was standing there just basically taunting. <laughs> but we have... Wow, that's kind of interesting. Alchemist Bones being picked up onto Keeper of the Force. I've seen that before. But, yeah, again, you don't see Keeper of the Forest in many games, so... Yeah, not really not really too sure there uh, if that's a typical pickup or not. But yeah, I, I can see how it works because Keeper of the Forest, you know, his attack speed is pretty slow and that'll just help him keep up his farm all the better. As, uh, do we still, nope, the ward is gone now. So we've got uh, them doing a little bit of creep pulling to try and maintain this lane down here. And now that I have made my way to the bottom, we are going to see about checking on how well this uh, little... Flint Beastwood is doing, as he is at 27, uh, 29 and 10 now, after throwing out the little flare, versus who should be in charge of this lane? I'd say Engineer should be in charge of this lane. He's 16 and 4. Let's look at the others while we're at it, just in case. Nothing too impressive, really. So, I would say that uh, the Legion are winning, uh, Legion winning bottom. So, we're looking at Legion, kind of a tie, well, maybe not for long, and, uh, man, look at this keeper. He's just so ballsy sitting here. He's like, what? Your stuff's still on cooldown. You ain't gonna get me. So, yeah, he's just duking it out here with the, um, <laughs> cardinal here on Pebbles. And doing pretty damn good. So, gotta give it to him. Oh, we've got a sneak around from Madman. He's gonna pick up the kill on the coral yet again. And I, I can only imagine that, you know, uh, Tundra's gotta be getting upset here, losing his coral. I mean... Those things aren't cheap. Uh, I don't know how much they go for at the pet, you know, at your local Petco, but I would say that they're at least twenty dollars a piece. And if I were him, I, you know, I, I'd be getting a little angry. And so, yeah, that's that's pretty much where I'm at. I'm I'm actually looking at buying a coral of my own at uh, Petco. If you guys haven't gone to to see that, they actually have a pretty good selection. So you'll have to go check that out. On the uh, the corals, as I'm in, I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Co coral, coral. Yeah, I'd say that. And now silence. <laughs> uh, but we do have the um, the OP blood chalices. I'm sure we're going to be seeing lots of those this game. Uh, has anyone else got anything? Does anyone have anything interesting at all? Uh, we have ooh the mighty loggers hatchet. I was wondering what was on cooldown. That's why I went to it. Uh, the Logger's Hatchet on uh, Cardinal there with double damage. So he's going to be taking out the uh, the creeps here and picking up a, quite a few kills. Got a regen bottle as well. We've got Blood Chalice and Bottle picked up on Madman along with his Life Tube and Iron Buckle. Actually, he's bottom. I did not notice that, but he came bottom here hoping to be able to set up something. Doesn't look like he's going to get that opportunity as he is now jetting on out. As, oh, we have uh, Keeper of the Forest and Tundra. And I was wondering, I was like, well, maybe Tundra's getting a little farm while Madman's out of there. And yes, uh, he is getting a little farm, except he's just getting Hero Farm. So, not such a good uh, situation for uh, Madman to have left his lane there. And not really have accomplished anything. He came down here hoping to set something up, but again, you know, if it's not there, it's not there. And...